Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban RB2187 Nomad sunglasses. So first off, let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses have 54 millimeter lenses and a 17 millimeter bridge. And these are the standard size of the sunglasses. Ray-Ban doesn't produce a larger or a smaller version of the shades. So as of filming this video, this is the only size that Ray-Ban makes. Ray-Ban recently re-released these sunglasses. These were were very popular back in the 1970s and were worn by a ton of different celebrities and also rock stars which is really cool. These sunglasses definitely offer vintage inspired styling which really just looks killer and I honestly I think this styling is absolutely timeless and squared lens sunglasses are definitely trending right now in 2021. But because of the styling on these frames honestly I think these would look good in any time period the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, the early 2000s and of course in 2021. The styling of these is absolutely timeless and really, really killer. Now these frames are made out of an acetate material and the exact colorway that I'm wearing in today's video is Ray-Ban's matte shiny Havana frames and the lens color here are Ray-Ban's dark blue lenses. Now these sunglasses do have very premium and nice all glass lenses, which of course offer 100% UVA and UVB protection. And what's really nice about all glass lenses is they're going to be much more scratch resistant than plastic lenses and also the optical clarity on these is going to be better than plastic lenses. Now because these sunglasses do have acetate frames and all glass lenses they definitely are not going to be very lightweight. These sunglasses probably weigh a little bit more than an original pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers which is definitely a very heavy pair of sunglasses to begin with but honestly I really do love the looks of these sunglasses so much that the weight really doesn't bother me but if you are wearing these for four plus hours they're probably going to get a little uncomfortable so I probably wouldn't recommend wearing these all day for a long road trip or anything like that. However, because of the way that Ray-Ban has made the nose rests and here on the ear rests, the sunglasses feel much more lightweight than they actually are on the face because they have such a good fit to them and the weight is evenly dispersed around the head. Now these sunglasses are made in Italy. They say here in the inner right temple of sunglasses, they say Ray-Ban made in Italy. Now as far as build quality goes, these are definitely made very well. They also do have all metal hinges which feel very good when opening up and when closing them and these are Ray-Ban seven barreled hinges which are their most premium all metal hinges and these hinges are also found on the original Ray-Ban Wayfair sunglasses and attached to the metal hinges is a metal stem that runs all the way down to the ear rest which is very nice adds some rigidity to these frames and also allows you to heat up the frames and adjust them to give a custom fit to anybody's face. Now unfortunately as far as coverage from sun goes because these sunglasses have square lenses they're not going to offer the best coverage from sun so here up top we can see there is definitely a pretty big gap to sunlight in unprotected and then here on the sides there is a pretty big gap to sunlight in unprotected as well and actually the styling of these frames with these really thick temples helps add coverage to the side of the face which is definitely pretty interesting if they didn't have these thick temples there would be a massive gap to sunlight in unprotected and there certainly is a very big gap but not quite as bad as it would be if the temples of the sunglasses were skinny so these frames having these thick temples actually does add to practicality of them. Now these sunglasses are actually pretty similar to the Ray-Ban Justins, which are a wildly popular pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. But these of course are made out of more premium materials than those Ray-Ban Justins with their all acetate frames. And these also offer more vintage styling than the Ray-Ban Justins. Overall, I think this is a really killer pair of sunglasses and the price is going to run you around $183. I definitely think they're worth picking up for that price tag. The build quality and the materials on these frames are definitely top notch with their state frames which are beautiful and they're all glass lenses and again the build quality of these is very good. Now I do recommend checking these out on Amazon because you can actually usually save a little bit more money than the full MSRP on Amazon so I'm going to leave a link in the description down below for you guys to check out these sunglasses directly from Amazon and hopefully you'll be able to save a couple of dollars from there. Well that's all good for this video. If you guys enjoyed it make sure you give me a big thumbs up down below and of course make sure to subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again and thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.